New attacks and roadblocks to peace in Ukraine. This is new video showing a Russian strike against an oil depot in the northwest corner of the country. Almost five weeks into the war, Russia may be switching tactics. A Ukrainian official says Russians may try to split the country in two. And President Biden says he will not apologize for saying Russia needs a new leader. KTLA's Pedro Rivera live in the newsroom tonight. Pedro. President Joe Biden is not walking back comments he made about Russian President Vladimir Putin, saying Putin cannot remain in power. While some have speculated this means a change in U.S. policy, the president said that's not the case, just his opinion. I wasn't then, nor am I now, articulating a policy change. I was expressing the moral outrage that I feel, and I make no apologies for it. Two days after President Joe Biden said this about Russian President Vladimir Putin to a crowd in Warsaw. For God's sake, this man cannot remain power. Biden is refusing to walk back those comments, instead making his feelings towards his Russian counterpart clear. You know, he continues on this course that he's on. He is going to become a pariah worldwide, and who knows what he come, becomes at home. The White House has since come out to say Biden and his U.S. allies are not calling for a regime change. Meanwhile, the fighting continues. Ukrainian firefighters work to put out a blaze at this oil depot 75 miles outside of Lviv following Russian airstrikes. And in Mariupol, city leaders are calling for a complete evacuation of the city that has been decimated by Russian shellings. Still, the mayor is reporting more than 100,000 people are still stuck in Mariupol, but Ukrainians are fighting back. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed Monday his forces are regaining control in key cities, declaring that they have liberated the city of Irpin. The occupiers are pushed away from Irpin and Kyiv, but still too early to talk about the safety in this part of our region. But around the country, volunteers are cleaning up damage done to schools in Kharkiv. And along the Black Sea, residents in one small town shed tears as they leave on buses with blown out windows, hoping to find refuge with the Red Cross Center and escape the bombardment. We think that we are completely in another world now compared with what we saw yesterday. Talks between Russia and the Ukraine are set for Tuesday in Istanbul. Despite reports that Russia is looking to split Ukraine, President Zelensky is still seeking a face-to-face -face meeting with Putin to bring this war to an end.